And then in the meantime, I'll go ahead and uh, at least start the introduction for uh, Joe Cohen, who uh, I'm sure his name many recognize as the uh, owner of, you better say the name of your store, <coughs> Joe, before I mess it up. Classic cigars and British goodies. Everybody okay. messes it up. I knew Blaine wouldn't get that, so I had to, no, had to get you to say that. He, he doesn't know where it is. What's going on, Joe? How well, are you doing? How are you doing? Glad to see you arrived anyway. That's good. I hit every stoplight in Frederick. Can you do something about that as alderman? Don't you worry. It's going to be done. Huh? It's going to be done. Um, now, we started the introductions, by the way. All the interviews are on WFMD.com. Joe, start out. Tell us a little bit about you personally or professionally or both. Okay. Um, I'm British. Born on July the 4th. Uh-huh. And um, I've been living in this country for 23 years. And um, I've worked at uh, Halliburton, that's NUS, Nuclear Utility Services. And uh, I was dealing in safety videos, selling them to Fortune 500 industries where OSHA told them that they've got to have safety um, rules and regulations which were going in those days. And then um, I've worked on my own as an antique dealer. Okay. Um, in Leesburg and also in Charlestown, West Virginia, and then came over here to Frederick and did, and also did cigars in in West Virginia and came to do that over here as well. And um, that's basically it. The, the only other thing is, uh, of course, I'm born on July the fourth, and I am an American citizen as of May the ninth, and decided because of that, I'd like to run for office. Going with her and. Uh one of the unique things is that uh, you just became an American citizen, correct? That's right, on May the 9th. May the 9th, and that happened, uh, what was going on over here at, uh, was that when they had, uh, was it Pangea? It's what they call the Pangea, they have a different But you actually became an American citizen that day at that moment? That day at that moment, yes. Okay, then you have a downtown business. Yes, I do. Have. And why uh, Why do you want to run for Alderman? Because I, I've been very, very um, active, if you weren't, from the sides uh, in uh, politics here, both everywhere, but especially here in Frederick, and uh, I decided that because of that, um, I should really take it upon myself. After listening to David Gray, for instance, who made a speech at that Pangea, saying, "Look, you, 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 you got an opportunity now to be an American citizen. Why don't you do like I do? Do something for the, for the country." Right. And I decided, and he said, "Do it politically. Take my office, whatever." And I thought. I'm just paraphrasing, but I thought, well, that's something I really ought to do. I mean, it's okay voting, great to have a vote, but isn't it better if you can actually do something more than the vote, bring your expertise and knowledge to a, a position like um, Alderman? All right. And what are some of the things that, uh, what are some of the issues that you care about uh, if you're elected Alderman? What are some of the things that uh, is on part of your platform? Well, um, First and foremost, I really feel that what every candidate, most of the candidates are missing is saying they're just ignoring that we have, we have a bad economy. I mean, the, we're going up to 10% unemployment in America. I think everybody's aware of that or should be. But our politicians here right now are not really addressing that. They might say, well, the economy is bad or something. But what's been quoted in the press, and I do believe it, is this, this economic crisis is worse or as the worst thing since the Great Depression. So what does that mean? Recession? A bit of a, a, a depression? Well, what it re really means is that we've got to do something now to make sure in two or three years that Frederick has a cushion, an economic cushion. It's okay to go around and say, well, cut this, cut that, cut the other, cut this. What are you going to do next year? Cut more? We have to change the situation around, and there okay. are ways to do it. So what are you proposing? Well... I did propose that we should actually um, um, develop the airport and um, from that it could stem a lot of things and it seems that um, Jeff Holtzing has beat me to it, he's already talked to Barbara Mikulski and uh, things are in the work now, works now to actually develop the airport, make it commercial to a certain extent, although there is some opposition. But if we did that, it means we'll have more jobs in Frederick, more jobs in construction, more jobs in, why, even, even a bigger, better taxi service to driving people from the airport. Also, then it makes it, uh, makes it feasible to have a hotel uh, for conferences because then 
You see, the usual rule of thumb for a conference hotel is that you should be within 30 minutes of a, uh, of a hub, of an airport. We could do it within, take a compass within 20 minutes of Frederick Airport, and therefore beating the competition and bring in, entice then more companies to set up in Frederick which wouldn't in, be enticed otherwise. You can't keep on giving them tax breaks because we need the tax dollars. All right, we're going to take a quick break talking with Republican automatic candidate Joe Cohen. Uh, Joe and Dor- Joe during the break, we'll come back and expand what some of the other things that uh, you feel you can do as aldermen uh, to help with, uh, uh, I guess, specifically the economy. Uh, I want to thank the Frederick Air Brian.